Hi guys, my name is AJ, and in today's HomeLab video, I'm going to show you how to host your own Minecraft server using Casa OS. Now, if you haven't got Casa OS installed on your home server already, I'll have a video link up here where you can install Casa OS in your home lab. Now, once you have Casa OS installed and loaded, loaded up, we're going to navigate to the App Store and scroll down until we find an application called Crafty. There it is. We'll click install note of the default account and this will install in no time crafty has been in installed we're going to open it click advance and proceed now if you didn't take note of the default username and password you can click on files app data crafty and we can click on config and then the default information is in this document so just open that and this is the username and password we need to log in to the crafty controller so we type in admin and you come back to this document copy and paste this password and once we log in we'll create a new account paste login now once we have logged in with that default account we're going to Come over to this way and click the, these gears here, which is the settings. So click that. Then I'm going to scroll down to where it says edit, edit users here. Then we're going to click new password. So we're going to create a new password for this default account. And click OK. The password should have been changed. So we'll log out and log back in to make sure it has. And put your new password in. Great, so that works. You can also go back to settings and you can add users with different privileges to the server. Our account is good to go. We're gonna head over to servers on the left-hand side. We're gonna click create new server. Now this is where you set up your Minecraft server. So for the purpose of, of this video, I'll just show you a vanilla server. If you want, I can do a video on how to create a modded server using Crafty Controller. Select the server type, which is a Minecraft server. Now this is where you choose what type of server, so vanilla, paper, fabric, forge, so on and so forth. We're gonna click vanilla. Now select the Minecraft version you wanna play. We'll play on the latest. And now we're gonna give our server a name. So we're just gonna call it Minecraft server. Now this is where you can adjust the memory for your Minecraft server, but I'm going to leave it at default because we can just change it later on. Now if you are happy with the way this looks, click build server. Now that's how easy it is using Crafty Controller. It's up and running in 5 seconds. Once this server has been created, we're going to click our server over here. Now this is going to open up the command line and we're just going to run it for the first time. Let's start. Accept the EULA agreement. And just let it start up for the first time to load the files, build the world, all that type of fun stuff. Now once you run the server for the first time, I like to stop the server. And once the server has stopped, I like to come over to the files Click on server properties. This is where you can change all the settings to the world that's just been created. Message of the day. So it says a Minecraft server. We can put in Minecraft server hosted by Home Lab Networks. Now take note on here it says server port 25565, which is Minecraft's default server port. Now on Crafty Controller, you can run multiple Minecraft servers, but each time you do, you will have to change the port because you can't run five servers on the same port. It just won't work. Change this number from 25565 to 25566, and it's gonna work. But because we're running just one Minecraft server, we don't need to do anything to it. So make sure you click save and that's going to save the document. If you want to add more RAM to your server, you're going to 
come over to the config tab scroll down to where it says server execution command and then it says java xms and this is this number here is how much gig your server is going to run with for an example if you want four gig you'll just change that number to 4096 and then it's going to run with four gigabyte of ram now once you're happy with your settings click save go back to the terminal tab and click start and your server will start running now once you'll see your server is up and running you can double check by click checking the server status saying online you want to open up your minecraft now make sure your minecraft version is the same as your server version otherwise it won't work we're going to head head on to multiplayer we're going to click add server now the server server address is the same address as your crafty controller ip so take note of that so mine's 192.168.1.1110 when I add that address to here. Now, because this is only hosting one server at the moment, we don't need to put the port number, but you can if you want to, it won't make a difference. And now that our message of the day has popped up that, that we typed in, and now we should be able to connect to our server. There we go. Now I just want to show you guys too with the port number. We can go back to edit this, get rid of this port number, and it's able to connect still. Refresh, yes we can. So guys, you only need the port number if you are hosting multiple Minecraft servers on the one, on the one controller. Now in our server config files, we didn't allow commands. So to quickly fix that issue while the server is still up and running, we're going to, we're going to go back to our crafty controller, go back to the terminal, scroll down to where we can enter our command, and we're just going to type in op and then your Minecraft username. Now we have become the server operator, and now we can use commands if we need to. So yeah guys, so that is one very quick way of hosting a Minecraft server in your home lab. And this is completely free. You do not have to pay anything. I made a video on using AMD, where we had to pay for a license. Crafty Controller Casa OS is completely one, completely free. No payment required. If you guys found this video helpful, please don't forget to leave a like rating. Also subscribe if you haven't already. I see about 90% of my viewers are not subscribed, so please make sure you do. And I'll catch you guys in the next Homeland video. Thanks, guys.